Hello, St. Simon, Mr. DeCroce here. I'm going to show you a little video about subtracting decimals. Now, as you know, with subtracting decimals, we are calculating the difference between two amounts, usually a larger amount and a smaller amount. Over the years, I've seen you all um, taking a problem like this and lining it up according to place value, which is perfectly fine. Lining up your ones, your tens, your hundreds, etc., and then going through the process of uh, regrouping, canceling out and borrowing and whatnot. That's fine. You're all used to that method. This method that I would like to show you, I like to call cashier style. And I noticed that when I went to my local bakery to buy some pastries. And what I noticed was that the cashier was not focusing in on this screen right here that prompted her to take out the, a certain amount from the till. Instead, she calculated the difference between the cost of the product, in this case pastries, and the dollar bill that I handed over to her. So let's get into a real life context here. So at the bakery, I bought some pastries, as I said, and those pastries cost seven dollars and 75 cents. Now, as you know, when you go to an ATM machine, they're famous for spitting out $20 bills. So I did not have $7.75 exactly in my wallet. Instead, I handed over to her a $20 bill. So she had to calculate the difference between $7.75 and Twenty whole dollars, and she obviously did not use this method here, nor did she have this screen right here that would prompt her on her cash register uh, with the uh, difference, with the change that I would be receiving back. So, what I saw her doing was this: she was working her way up. Seven seventy-five to twenty dollars, and in doing so, she basically subtracted decimals. So from seven seventy-five to eighty dollars, okay, you would need a quarter, right? From eight dollars to ten dollars, you would need two dollars. And from $10 to $20, you would need $10. So, how much change did I get back? Well, I got back a $10 bill. I got back a me dollar coin. And I got back a quarter. In total, I got that twelve dollars and twenty-five cents. So this method is another way of subtracting decimals and calculating the difference. So we can take this idea and apply it here. We can take this ten decimal zero zero and put a dollar sign in front of it, and now you have ten dollars. I think sometimes it helps to put a dollar sign in front of a decimal amount because 
your brain looks at it completely differently. And here you have 3.47. Let's call that $3.47. So, let's say you go into your convenience store and you buy an item that costs $3.47. You open up your wallet and you take out a $10 bill and you pass that over to the store owner. Now, he or she will have to calculate your change or the difference between $10 and $3.47. So, what they can do is this. We can what is ask ourselves, what is the next whole number up from 347? Well, we can move up to 350. So here we're going to add three cents from 350 to four dollars. We are going to add 50 cents. And from four dollars to ten dollars, we are going to add six dollars. So the change that we'll be getting back is six fifty three. Okay, so you'll probably be getting back a five dollar bill, a one alumi, one dollar coin, and fifty three cents. So two quarters possibly and three cents. And there you go. Just a quick little video. How to calculate how to subtract decimals rather cashier style. Thanks for watching.